Thousands of coronavirus variants have emerged since the beginning of the pandemic. Viruses like COVID-19 change or mutate constantly. And once they enter the body, they replicate and evolve. But here's the thing. Only a small handful change the virus in a way that can impact us adversely. Here are four that the CDC have at one point described a variance of concern. Omicron was first identified as a new variant in November after a surge of cases in South Africa. Its emergence led to swift travel restrictions all over the globe. Now here's why experts are specifically concerned about this. Omicron seems to carry a large number of mutations on its spike protein. That's what the virus uses to grab onto cells it infects. One is called E4A4A and it can make the virus less recognizable to some antibodies which defend us against infection, it could also impact how an infected person responds to monoclonal antibody treatments. The variant also carries a mutation known as N501Y, which could make the virus more likely to spread when people breathe, sneeze, or cough. Researchers and vaccine makers are still unsure whether these mutations could also impact vaccine efficacy, if the variant would be more transmissible or if it would cause more severe illness. The Delta variant, that was first identified in India in October 2020. It now accounts for 99.9% .9 of the cases in the United States, according to the CDC, and it's the dominant variant in much of the rest of the world. Like Omicron, Delta also carries a mutation on its spike protein, and it has been shown to evade the immune system to some extent. That means that even if you've been infected before with an older variant, it's possible you could still become infected with the Delta variant. The Alpha variant, which was first identified in September 2020, was of big concern to officials this spring. England, you may remember, was hit hard by Alpha, and it quickly spread around the world. It has been shown to be about 50% more transmissible than older variants, and it also carried lots of mutations, 23 of them. But in September 2021, it was actually demoted from a variant of concern to a variant being monitored by the CDC because of its low impact on the United States. The beta variant was first seen in South Africa as early as May 2020. It has the E484K mutation, which can make the virus less recognizable to some antibodies, and the N501Y mutation, which is believed to make the variant more contagious. Blood tests have shown the beta variant can infect people who have had COVID before as well as people who've been vaccinated. But that variant never really gained much of a foothold in the United States either. And like Alpha, it has now been designated as a variant being monitored by the CDC. There's a lot we're still learning about this virus and its variants, but here's what we do know can help curb the spread. Masks, hand washing, physical distancing, good ventilation, they all still work. And while some of these variants have been shown to evade vaccines to some extent, research shows even with a breakthrough infection, vaccinated people aren't as likely to get as sick with COVID-19. So if you haven't been vaccinated, get vaccinated now. And the CDC says all adults should also get a booster shot six months after the second dose of the Pfizer Moderna vaccine or two months after a single dose of the Johnson & Johnson.